What up everybody, it's iPadBeatMaking.com and today we're going to do another episode of iPhone Beat Making and we're going to be using Nano Studio 2 with Cubasis 3 and I'm going to do a little test run with a few different auto-tune style apps and see how it comes out, just a quick little freestyle. But anyways, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so again, from episode two, the last episode, I was using Chill Keys, which I found on patchstorage.com. I'm using that set again for this pad. The tempo's a little fast for where I'm trying to go right now. I'm trying to go a little smoother. This is more of a trap tempo, so I'm gonna bring that tempo down. And for this snare, I'm using Mario's Trap, which is available on iPadBeatMaking.com for free. So be sure to check that out. Now this 808 comes out of the iPadBeatMaking.com Trap Kit 2, which has the 808 engine, just like Trap Kit 1. Now I'm going to go into the piano roll because I'm hearing something off with the pad that I recorded. Yep, there it is. And now I'm playing a keyboard out of Trap Kit 2. Now I'm in Mario's Trap again, the free kit I told you about earlier, and I'm going to add some percussion with that. Now I'm drawing in some hi-hats, real simple. And now I'm going to put the snare on a triplet just like that percussion is. These hi-hats are at a slower pace to kind of keep the track moving, so even if I take out the main hi-hats, this is still there to kind of keep things going. And the way I'm recording this right now is just as a placeholder. Again, I have to go in and draw everything for the hi-hats because I can't play at a 30 second timing at this tempo. So now I'm in the piano roll and I'm adding the 30 second notes. I'm grabbing a piano out of the iPadBeatMaking.com West Coast kit, and I'm going to use it with an effect that I think is really cool that everyone should grab. It's called Koala Effects. And basically, my idea is I want to spin it backwards in real time as I'm playing it and kind of see how that comes out. kind of dope and there's a few notes I want to change in there so I'm going to go on the piano roll and adjust those and now I'm adding a kick this is from trap kit 2 And these are some samples that I brought over from desktop a while back. So I haven't really got to try them on a beat yet. I wanted to see what it sounded like if I added these to it. 
and again i'm gonna go on the koala effects and see what kind of different vibe that can give the patch So now I'm in retro piano and I'm just gonna add a little riff from there and see how that comes out on the track for a breakdown or something. And I misplayed a few notes, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. So let's fast forward this part. I'm loosely arranging the track and I don't really have a plan in mind for how I'll approach performing on the beat. I'm getting it prepared to go into Cubases and try it out with one of these auto-tune type of effects. Now, what I did do that you're not seeing on screen right now is after I exported the beat, I went ahead and brought it in on the iPad to DJ Pro to find out what the key was. I'm sure there's an app on the iPhone that'll tell you what the key of a beat is, but I don't know what that is right now, so I just did it the way I usually do it. So now that I found out that the key of the beat is in D, I'm going to bring that into Cubasis and set up the um, auto-tune style apps with that D key selected. Again, I'll fast track the recording process, but here's the full disclosure. I tried three auto-tune style plugins. One was auto-tune mobile, which didn't load at all with the audio interface. And that's usually what happens when I'm trying to run it with an audio interface connected for some reason, which is typical. Next was Voloco, which sounded a bit too hyped and cloudy for me. Um, this is a good plugin if you're dealing with a lower quality setup or you simply got your Apple earbuds and they need a little bit of help with the EQs, the reverbs, things like that. Fortunately for the setup, but unfortunately for the app, um, this wasn't the case for us and it also wouldn't let us run more than one instance at a time, which, you know, what are you going to do with that? Um, so basically like you got to get it right in one take and that's not realistic. Dealing with the Voloco app, I kind of thought that we hit a wall because I had the latest eye device, I got a great interface, I got a great mic, and to still have a, the limitation of only one instance, I kind of thought, all right, well, we're not ready for prime time with the eye device situation compared to a desktop. Before I gave up, I went ahead and opened up Audio Tune and tried that. And I'm going to say this it was very unforgiving until I got my exact desired notes in order. You know, it's not just something you can just loosely play around with. It wants to have everything really accurate. So after I got my notes in order, I think it performed flawlessly, more than can be said about me. But I ran these tracks through a group in Cubases featuring my desired EQ, compression, reverb, and delay settings. Just something loose that I think sounds good as I'm recording kind of gets me in the vibe. I love tracking this way because you get a glimpse of the finished product and kind of what the mix might sound like without really taxing your iDevice resources. This is something I picked up many years ago when desktop computers weren't as powerful and you needed to get you know an R&B singer or something when she's got 20 tracks and layers and she you know has got to have effects on all of them she wants to always feel like she's in reverb and things like that so applying that kind of knowledge and bringing it into the eye device because Cubasis 3 has added groups has been great I used to have to use Aria Pro for this and as you know Aria Pro is not an iPhone app so now that we've got this on Cubasis it's amazing to be able to record this kind of stuff through iPhone and and iPad but with all that being said I'm gonna run the playback now it's just a quick little freestyle just to kind of see what's possible um, with different layers different takes comping things together seeing what happens hope y'all enjoy it and if you like the video be sure to like comment and subscribe it's ipadbeatmaking.com peace Underrated like
bobo Mess around with these bogos Girl, you got me going loco So hold it, I can poco And you don't settle for so-so So what we trading, I'm so full They love the way that you bow climb You so high, it's a pole fold Ain't nothing better than a new face Currency, that's blue face Blew so much, ripped my suitcase Had to go and get a new suitcase Recorded this in Cubase Three times the charm, baby I don't need no harm, baby I just wanna elevate Never want conflict, let it go, it's just nonsense. Stick to it, it's a long script. Jumping in like a mosh pit, foreign whips, no stock rims. Drive a seat like a cockpit, ceiling drop like a soffit. I phone beat making. Uh.